Hello everyone and welcome to Monkey Fish channel. In today's video let's talk about famous one inch punch. In 1967 Bruce Lee first time shows one inch punch to the world on front of television. And originally it was just punching exercise known as explosive force moment. So when I was a Wing Chun practitioner I was introduced to one inch punch in this scenario. So from Tang Sao I go to some kind of one inch punch just to push it a bit back then follow up with chain punch and this was only exercise to teach us how to continue our actions so it was like something like this and you can train this technique by hitting the heavy bag bob or even breaking the boards So one inch punch is a real thing, but it's also a trick. You can see a lot of masters who are presenting this technique to others and lying to them that they have some kind of superpowers because this what they're showing looks quite impressive. And it looks like this because they do exactly what Bruce Lee did. They place somebody face to face, not in the fighting position, just like this. And they do one inch punch to them in this position it's really easy to fall so you even don't have to hit anyone you can just use your finger and push and he going to fall because this is not stable position for this so of course if you use some power you're going to move somebody pretty far but this is just a trick because when you play somebody in normal fighting stance this will not look that impressive so this was just a trick so how I know that this is a real thing because I use this many times in my sparring and fights. And probably you did it many times in your sparring or fights, but you didn't recognize it because you didn't start like this and your opponent didn't fly a few meters back after that. So how you can use one inch punch in fighting situation? For example, I throw some combo, boom. And here, sometimes you can start in your opponent's guard, especially when you have the gloves on. And here you have two options, you can pull your arm back to continue or just push forward. And if you push forward, it is nothing else than one inch punch. Uh, if you are a Wing Chun practitioner and you do Chi Sa, Low Tan Sa is also a perfect moment to do one inch punch. Uh, another, if you do some combo here, upstairs, <laughs> And he starts covering himself. Hoopa. And you are tired of punching his guard. Grab his hands and you can just go a little bit lower just to uncover his face. And in this moment, it's also a perfect moment to one inch punch. But this technique is not about using your fist. It's about creating power in no space. For example, I like to do when I'm clinching. And this guy is so strong that I cannot do anything to him. I like to use my elbow and hit his slab place just to make him a little bit weaker just bam, bam. and then I can slide to hip throw for example or even like McGregor did use your shoulder because this is about creating power in no space what kind of space you have here? Nothing. But still, you can hit him. I don't say that this will end the fight, but this can give you a time to do something else. So, as you can see, one inch punch is not only a trick, you can also use this in the fighting situation. And everything was in this video is just my opinion. I can be wrong. And yeah, if you like this kind of content, let me know. Thank you for watching, see you next time.